Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. I've got my portrait um, over my right shoulder there, <laughs> so I'm still working on it, still working on it. So today again I'm filming down and I quite like this angle in fact. So let's have a look at the colours we are going to use in this lesson today and um, show you some nice warm sunset -y skies. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. So today, as you know, I'm going to be using my medium mix that's available on my website. I'll talk about that in a second. So without further ado, let's have a look what we've got here. We've got some burnt under. We've got some titanium white. We've got a little bit of Naples yellow. Or yellow ochre, sorry, I should say. Yeah, yellow ochre. And some cardinum red. It's been a long day. And some cardinum red. And some cardinum yellow. And some Prussian blue. There we go. Now, if you are not confused, I certainly am. But there's the colours we got today. So, um, today I'm going to be painting on uh, a Windsor Newton Artist a canvas panel. It's a 10 by 8, 254 by 203 millimetres. And um, I shall talk to you a bit more about this in a moment, but it is being um, pre-primed. Okay, so let's have a look what we're going to paint. So today, as I said, we're going to be painting on a canvas panel. Now, these panels are basically uh, compressed hardboard, or, 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 or paper basically, compressed paper. And what they've got is um, a little bit of paper on the back, and they're covered in canvas. That's all they are. And you've seen me um, over the months painting on cardboard, which is this stuff. There you go. This is what I buy um, available. I can get I get this on eBay, really. And uh, I cut this in half, and that gives me a 10 by 8, approximately. And this is the same type of stuff that's in the centre of uh, that. So if you wanted to save yourself some money, you could buy some of this um, board, and you could cover it with some canvas if you wanted to. But to be honest with you, these are so cheap, it um, doesn't really pay you to do that. But you could if you wanted to. And I just paint on, on the cardboard um, because, for, for especially for YouTube lessons and little sample paintings that I do, I find that, that that's a lot easier uh, for me and cheaper, in fact, because I can just paint over and over and over them. So the day I thought I'd show you on this camera, hello camera, how I've actually got my easel set up there for you. Um, and this is to the side of my main easel. So always have the your painting surface um, angle. Don't have it flat because it's not good for you if it's flat. It really isn't. So you need to have that um, canvas there like that. So what we'll do today is let's just put a little bit of moisture on my board like that. And what I'm going to do is just get a little bit of yellow and a little bit of yellow will get together, a bit of white. And I'm just going to very quickly put a bit of a tonal wash, very thin wash over the entire surface of that painting, like this, the canvas, I should say. It just helps, it just helps to kill that white, because the white can affect your eyes a lot. You'd be surprised how it will affect your eyes a lot. So I like, always like to put a wash on. And another question I'm asked a lot is, uh, how do you hold that on there? What's keeping that on there, Clive? Well, this stuff is called blue tack. There we are. It's that stuff you can buy and to put Christmas cards on walls and stuff like that. It's just a, like a sticky, like a sticky blue tack. Or you can get it in white. It's called white tack. It doesn't matter. You just roll that up like that. And you stick that under your canvas and you can stick it on your board and it holds it in place. That's what I use. Nothing magic in this place. It certainly isn't. So let's dry that very quickly. All right. Now, I'm only going to use a couple of small brushes today. Um, these are the range of brushes I'm going to be using. Oh, I just picked up a lot of green paint on my hand. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. God, we can make a mess in a studio sometimes, but it doesn't matter. That's the joy of painting, in fact. So I just use a couple of small brushes. Let me just wipe them off like that. I don't know where that green came from. There you go. Oh, dear, dear me. There we are. 
So I've got um, a couple of short flats and a detail brush. There we are. That's it, really. And he's throwing brushes everywhere around the studio now. Oh, everything's gone wrong now. Everything's gone wrong. I can't bend down there and get that. I'm getting too old. <laughs> so we'll manage with what we've got. Let's get a brush. Let's just get a bit of Prussian blue. A bit of red. I want to. I want to warm that up. Make it more purpley. And a little touch of white to it. Touch of white. Touch of white. There you are. What a lovely blue. Got a blue with a tint of red in it. And let's just get that. Little steady paintings. I love them. I love these little steady paintings. I not that I've got the best brushes, it doesn't matter. Bit of white. Bit of white. Using the brush like this. Let's get a bit more blue over this side. Ball white just on the top there. Whew. Have fun getting a brush and wiping the brush with a bit of tissue paper, a bit of white, get a bit of um, cloud in the sky like this. Tap it in, just have a bit of fun like that. Get a bit of that blue down there. Getting a bit of red now. Mixing a bit of this red in. Get a bit of red in that Prussian blue, just the darkness. Red. A bit more like a crimson y colour. So get some more red now, come down. And then chuck a bit of yellow in there. Let's chuck a bit of yellow into that now, make it more orange. Blending it all together, getting these edges to merge. A bit of warmth in this sky. Like that. Same brush, just yellow. A little bit of white. Yellow and white. Get that. There's a hair there. Where did that come from? I don't know. I'm losing hair. I think I'm going bald, I think. Seems to be a lot of hair around lately. <laughs> I don't know. It's all this lockdown thing we've been going through, I think. Bit of a white, a bit of yellow. Just mixing these colours together. Try and get a line going across like that. Whew. Put a bit more colour up there in a second. Let's just get a little bit of let's just get a little bit of warmth in the bottom here, like that. Because we don't want it too bright. There we go. I need to get that blue to come down. 
a little bit more. I just wash my brush. Same brush. I'm not using. I'm not. I'm changed my brush. I was going to, but I've dropped it on the floor, so I can't bend down and get that now. I'm just going to put a bit more blue in this sky. Like this, just to merge this together, make it look a little bit more as if it's just coming together like this. Maybe there's a few clouds. The sun is set. We don't have to put the sun in. The sun is set. We could put a little bit of the sun in, I think, maybe. It's just you've got those dark clouds you get when the sun is set in. I don't know if you've seen those clouds. Have you seen those clouds? It looks quite pretty actually when they when they set like that. Get this. Like that. A nice backdrop for a, um, an African sunset if you wanted to put some trees and things in there, that would be look really nice. In fact, we could just get another brush a minute, we could put a little bit of a, a bright, maybe, maybe just a little bit of a bright. sun there like that. Let's just make him a bit more. Orangey type of colour. You can just about see him then. <laughs> it's really really deep in there on the horizon let's get some Prussian blue now and let's just draw a line try and keep it straight if you can not easy at this angle <laughs> need a lot of paints. You don't need a lot of brushes. Very simple, easy. This line has got to be dead straight. I'm not worried too much about it today, but you have to be, I think. And just check a little bit of white. Just in the front like this. bright white now. Just touchy, touchy, touchy. I'll do for now. Get some yellow ochre. Yellow ochre. Lovely colour, yellow ochre. Get a bit of yellow. Bit of white. Let's get a bit of white. Let's get a bit more red. Let's get a bit of yellow ochre. Touch a red. Yellow ochre. Touch a red. Maybe. Just a. Darken this up. Bit of blue coming off my brush there, it doesn't matter. Just darkens that up. That's what you you've got to do, you've got to make sure that you wash your brush as well. Don't do what I do. 
I try to rush sometimes, but that's okay. That's quite a nice color anyway. I'm happy with it. Bit of red, yellow ochre. Put a bit of red in just to a light, darken that up a touch, make it look as if there's a little bit of refraction coming off that sky. A bit of white in there. Just trying to make some sand of sorts. What I try to do here is is show you that um, it's just a joy of painting, really. Um, you you need to you need just to paint. It doesn't matter what you paint. It doesn't matter how you paint. You get the basic principles. The more more you painting you do is is the, the fact is the more painting you do, the better you're going to get. And that's it. That, that's that's all you have to do, really. You just got to keep painting and painting and painting and come up with some ideas and copy others if you have to copy others and that's fine as long as you don't sell those pin paintings it's okay i'm going to just put some more um watery effects in now like as if the tide has come in and this is what i've missed this year um, because of the covid19 is the fact that i haven't been able to get out and go to the beaches and things like that, walk a dog and take the wife down for coffee and I really do, I do, do miss that a lot and I'm hoping that we can able to go in and, and do this soon I hope the lockdown leaves a little bit so it'll allow us to go and do that to put a bit of light in here like that and just Fade that in, brush it in with your finger a little bit like that, just like as if it's just a bit of light coming in. I do miss it a lot. I could walk on the beach with my wife. In fact, I think that would be a good idea if I did that. If I could find a small brush. Let's use this brush. Let's just get my get my hoops. Don't want too much. Let's get my head in there. Yeah, I give myself a, a white shirt maybe. Give myself a white shirt maybe. Just play around, paint some stick people. That's all you need to do. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate, as I've said to you before. I'm just going to mix some Prussian blue and some burnt umber together. Just darken the colour. And just try and paint in a shape as a representation of maybe me walking or something. There we are. Just to take your time. It will work out. Trust me, it'll work out. A bit of red. down like that. Bit of that Prussian blue and burnt umber. Prussian blue and burnt umber will make a black type of colour. There you go. Let's put um let's put some white into that Prussian blue and let's just put some Lines right now. 
that's really <laughs> that's all you need to do you don't need to spend a lot of time on learning how to paint figures really you don't Let's get a little bit of. Let's put some more white on our shirt. Just concentrate. I'm going to make a little bit of pink. down the beach I think that's, that's what we're doing my, my wife and I are walking down the beach a long way to go down to that beach it certainly is there we are <laughs> that's me and the wife walking down the beach somewhere in Wales I quite like this one I'm going to sign this one so if you like what you've seen today, please like, comment, share and subscribe. And don't forget just to paint and have fun. So thank you very much. Bye.